Because there wasn't a moment in my head where I was like, this is going to work out great in the end. I got a ticket for unsafe lane change. Now, I didn't know that was a thing. If you're unfamiliar, here's what it means. It means you're driving the speed limit, then you put your turn signal on, then you carefully change lanes, and there's a cop in that lane trying to speed by you, he gives you a ticket. That's what it means. <laughs> well, I prevented an officer of the law from breaking the law, and that is against the law. So, it was how he gave me the ticket, though, that stayed with me, because the first thing he said, he didn't say, you know, fast you were going, you were driving recklessly. He didn't even say, no, it was your night going. He didn't say any of that. <laughs> he just looks at me and he goes, well, thanks for making my stuff fly everywhere. <laughs> thanks for making my stuff? I'm sorry, officer unorganized, but what stuff did you have <laughs> to fly every, were you playing Jenga in your passenger seat? What happened before I got here? How do you drive? Did all the books come off your bookshelf? How do you drive? Maybe he keeps a handgun on the dashboard. Yeah, he just keeps his handgun on the dash, he slams the brakes, handgun flies to the windshield, accidentally shoots a black man. He's like, no one will believe this! Like, is that how it went down? I know, I was offended too. And... I gave him my license. I figured it was all I could do. Cause there wasn't a moment in my head where I was like, this is gonna work out great in the end. <laughs> so I gave him my license. I figured he would look me up. He would find out, if, well, he would try to look me up. His computer could be anywhere, but he would do <laughs> his best to find it. <laughs> Sift through the rubble. Rebuild. Then he would look me up. He'd find out I have a good record. He'd come back with a warning. That'd be the end of it. But that wasn't the end of it because he came back with a ticket in under two minutes. Under two minutes, you ever been pulled by a cop? Takes him longer than 15 minutes just to walk to the car, doesn't it? Because they're messing with your head. They're trying to ice the kicker, that's what they're doing. They're trying to make sure you're so frazzled by the time they finally get to the car, you're like, ah, cocaine's in the glove box. Like, that's what they want. So I was mad, I was like, why are you giving me this ticket? He said, well, if I would've hit you, it would've been your fault. I said, no, you hit me. That sounds a lot like your fault. He said, yeah, but you took the lane, so it's your fault. I said, okay, pretend time. Uh, if we're gonna do this, at least let's do this correctly. Whether or not I took the lane is immaterial, because we're in California right now, which is a one-party state. What that means is that the person at the back of any accident is responsible for the entire accident. He said, I don't think that's how it works. I said, well, uh, I am not a police officer, but aren't you a police officer? So, hey, do you think we should ask you? So I just kept asking him questions. That's what I did. I asked him question after question after question after question, because he was mad that I slowed him down. Fuck that guy. I asked him 27 minutes worth of questions. That's right, yeah. I detained a police officer. That's what I did. This, uh, this happened in Laverne, California. The guy's name was Officer Alvarez. I do not have a joke about his name. I just think that you should know it because he's a prick. So, <laughs> Officer Alvarez from the Laverne Police Department. I'm gonna say it a third time. I'm Officer Alvarez from the Laverne Police Department. I'm gonna tell that joke every day this year. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This happened last March, fuck that guy. Here's why I do this. Because one of you will help me get my revenge. I don't know who it'll be. Could be someone watching this tonight. You'll be driving through Laverne, it'll be months from now. You'll have forgotten about this show. You won't even know that you're in Laverne because no one goes there on purpose. You pass through on your way to somewhere decent. And then you'll get pulled over because you'll have just done something legal. So. You'll get pulled over. And tonight will come flooding back to you. And you will see that it says Alvarez. And you'll say, I've heard a great deal about you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you can watch Secret Optimist for free on my YouTube channel. Or check out a live show. My calendar is at stevehoffsetter.com.